god, this is awesome. 1v1 cow on cow action. Free to play is permanent. The new fountain in Varrock is edible. Oh, happy birthday, Sesma. Before this video starts, I'd just like to say that Old Score RuneScape's official second birthday is here. So go on over to Varrock and grab some cake, a warship, and a cow outfit from one of the tables there. And wear your cow mask if you're fortunate enough to get one. And enter the code OSRSRF2014 at Diango to get your home teleport animation changed to a battling cow. <laughs> Further completing the entire ensemble. Also, for all of you that are watching that don't know yet, free-to-play worlds in RuneScape are completely free now, so you can continue playing until your heart is content with no limitations or trials within those servers from now on. Let's get into the countdown video. Number 10. If you're a true veteran of RuneScape, then you might remember these guys. The Skeleton and the Warrior, most notably recognized as the high and low detail sign holders of RuneScape 2, but did you know that they actually have names? The Skeleton's name is Crunchy, and the Warrior's name is Tim, and apparently they're the best of friends. Crunchy's name wasn't released until the very first issue of Postbag from the Hedge, in which he explains to a player that he was challenged to a duel by a powerful mage, and he unfortunately lost, forever condemning him to hold the high detail sign alongside his warrior companion. Tim and Crunchy, however, didn't always hold the signs. When high and low detail wasn't available yet in 2003, their predecessors were these guys, and sadly they were never given names. And also sadly due to Jagex's style of website artwork, that has changed heavily over time, Tim and Crunchy are rarely used now. Number 9, do you guys recall what the background picture really looks like on the old school RuneScape login screen? It looks to be some sort of room with a door or passageway. In the early stages of RuneScape 2, new wallpaper was being released, and here's two of the most high quality pictures I could find of them. Do you notice anything special about the background of them? These pictures, seen in the 2006 official RuneScape handbook, have the exact background as the login screen. What if there is actually a place in OSRS where the background of the login screen really does exist? Number 8. So, from the very beginning of the game, which model is the oldest in all of RuneScape's history, even dating back to Devious Mud? Do you have a guess yet in your mind? I'll wait. <laughs> it's Sheep. Stated by Ian Gower in a live stream, apparently the model for Sheep was carried from RuneScape's predecessor, Devious Mud, over to RuneScape Classic, and was one of the very first things to be implemented into the game. This is a picture taken from a video in which Jmods from RuneFest 2010 actually played Devious Mud in front of a live audience on a big screen. If you look closely, you can literally see the similarities between the Sheep of the two versions of the game being Devious Mud and RuneScape Classic. That's pretty interesting. Number 7. Everyone knows that the wise old man robs Drainer Bank at one point in time, whether you're a new player or among the oldest of players, but why does he rob the bank? Stated by Mod Ash in a live stream, the story behind the reasoning for the wise old man robbing Drainer Bank is actually quite a simplistic one. Mod Ash says that his first real project of any real significance within the game was in fact the wise old man, and that one day Paul Gower asked him, why does he have a telescope pointing towards the bank? What is the reason for it? And there wasn't one. It wasn't until Ash talked to Mod Mark months later and was given permission to create such a storyline that we all know today. Number 6. A random event that was never implemented into the game was an event called Sebastian No, with his last name No being spelled G-N-O. Sebastian No was mentioned in a behind the scenes article as being the fastest gnome in the world and was to be released alongside several other random events that were in progress as well. In the event, the player would be kidnapped and forced to race against the the gnome in an agility course modeled to look like an Olympic stadium with obstacles. However, Sebastian No was not added to RuneScape because the course was the same every time and therefore was not an effective anti-bot feature. The random event was scrapped despite having completed graphics and testing. It is likely that the name Sebastian No is a combination of the former British athlete Sebastian Coe. It's really too bad that this never made it into the game. Number 5. Guys, she's real. 
The Sandwich Lady is real. <laughs> Stated by Mod Mark, the Sandwich Lady was actually modeled after a real person. In the very early stages of Jagex as a company, they were set in the midst of all sorts of other companies located in the UK. Oftentimes, a woman would go throughout all the companies offering them baked goods and sandwiches, and you would know that she would be coming, Mark says, because in a very high-pitched black voice, she would say, Sandwiches! He says that it would always interrupt their work, and so that's how the idea basically came to be. He continued used to say that at one point they were right at the start of her delivery route so they got all the good choices but sometimes they would be at the end of her route and receive not really much of any good choice. Ian Gower says that if you would ask for something else that she already didn't have or already gave away you could see that there was some sort of spark that was lit inside her thus the result of the RuneScape sandwich lady getting angry whenever you choose the wrong food item. Number 4. Something so simple that has probably been overlooked by literally everybody is the cooking level notification. Whenever you gain a level in the skill, it tells you, congratulations, you've just advanced blah 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 blah, right? Well, have you ever noticed that throughout the years of RuneScapes, the cooking pod picture on the notification itself has changed over time? I never noticed this before, and I'm actually kind of sad that I haven't. Number 3. Ever wondered what the barbarian assault monsters may have looked like in real life? You know, like the ones that have the one eye extending from their bottle-shaped body? Here you go. Literally, if I saw this in real life, the shit that would end all other shits would be taken. <laughs> Number 2. Do any of you recall a specific tree on the shores of Catherby in which you could grapple to get across to the other side that would lead you down into Taverly Dungeons where the Black Dragons are? Well, when this was first implemented into the game, a lot of players found the method of transportation to be glitched, and many ended up getting stuck in the water. To help people get unstuck, since there was no home teleport option at that time, Jagex decided to place the wise old man within the vicinity, and players could talk to him if they got stuck, and he would help them get unstuck by teleporting them somewhere else closer to shore. When a player that wasn't stuck talked to him, this picture holds his reply. Number 1. So, for this next one, I figured I'd put a little blast from the past at number one. If you are a 100% true veteran of RuneScape from 2005 and below, you will remember all these photos. These photos that you're seeing right now are the exact screenshots that were once displayed on the old version of the real RuneScape 2 website. If you veterans out there recall this, these screenshots always had no username listed on them, so nobody ever knew which accounts actually took these, but they were at one point in time the screenshots that were displayed that brought so many people to the game that we all remember and loved. These were extremely hard to find, but eventually I found them, and now I happily display them all for you to see too. That's it for this countdown, and if you know what I should count down next, as always, post it in the comments section. Thank you for watching, everybody.